I will say that it's a good initiative for the industry because uh, this provides the flexibility and the sort of the operators have this vision of end-to-end -end automation. I think that can only be achieved when you put everything in the cloud and open and actually does that. The only thing is the maturity, feature parity, and the stability of the platforms is one of the question marks today. We are done trial and we are doing the trial. So a lot of, uh, you know, like trial and pilot networks are there around uh, the world, but the big commercial networks are not there. And the reason could be that CapEx, actually the way it was being promised that, you know, it's going to be cost effective. That's not the case today. The stability of the platform is not there. And it needs a lot of, you know, vendor and partners to come together to the system integrator. And that is actually adding to the complexity of the open land. But I think it's a good initiative. We should keep working on it uh, to ensure that it become uh, successful in the future and provide the benefit to the operators and the consumers in offering the new services on the fly, provide these automation, scalability, flexibility, agility, everything will be there end to end. So that is the benefit of open land going to be. But today, if you ask me, it's not there. I think the cloudification of the core networks, edge networks, uh, you know, mobile edge computing for all the contents and going forward for the all the OTT and uh, the internet traffic, having the, uh, you know, like everything in the uh, data centers in the, you know, like central location is not enough. We have to move towards the uh, edge cloud. And finally, I think uh, I would say the AI ML as data analytics is going to be very important for the future to actually get the more use cases, more insight about the consumer experience and the new applications going forward. I think uh, if you see like compared to 2G, 3G and 4G, we never talked about enterprise on those platforms and the technologies. 5G is the first one to actually wear a lot of dependency or a lot of talk or a lot of use cases are coming around the enterprise. So I would say as of now, the latest one is a 5G, which is going to promise a lot of use cases for the enterprises. And I'm sure the whole industry is working together to find out the use cases around the IoT, around the M2M, around the, you know, like having the uh, enterprise real-time applications and uh, whether it's in the health area, education area, gaming area. I'm sure that, you know, 5G is the right platforms and the technology for supporting all those uh, visionary and going forward the future applications and the services for the enterprise. Answer is very much yes. If we can be the leader in the software, then why not in 5G or 6G or any technology? Because all technologies today, they revolve around the software and we have been the leader as a country. So I'm sure that one day we will be, only thing we need to have the patience. No company in the world has come in two, three, four, five years and has become the leader. I think it's a cycle of five to 10 years. And I'm sure the way the government and the prime minister is supporting the initiative of Make in India, that one day we'll be the leader and be at par with the global uh, companies in the world. Thank you.